Hi everyone, I'm Dana Ponsky, your guide to college, and welcome to Being Jewish in College's new video series, Kibbutz in 10 Minutes. Today, you're gonna to get 10 minutes of valuable information from Whitney Fish, Executive Director of the Hillel at Miami University of Ohio. Thank you so much for joining us today, Whitney. Thank you for having me. Welcome. Um, so to kick this off, my first question for everyone always is, what is the name of the Jewish Center on campus? So we are the Hillel, the Hillel building. You can call it the Berman Center, but we're the Hillel. <laughs> Wonderful. I mean, it's really as deep as that. <laughs> <laughs> so how many Jewish students are on campus and what would be the breakdown approximately of secular, reform, conservative, orthodox, humanistic, reconstructionist, or whatever identity a person might take as a Jewish individual. Um, so we estimate that there's anywhere between 900 to 1,000 Jewish students at, at Miami. Miami's total student population is a little over 16,000. So that's pretty decent considering we're, you know, kind of in the middle of nowhere, um, but the center of everything. Um, <laughs> We are not a community that is uh, necessarily, you know, driving um, religiously observant Jews, mostly because being or, or excuse me, being um, kosher and on this campus is nearly impossible. There's no kosher dining yet, growth mindset, and as a kosher food myself, obviously that's something that I have a high priority for. Though we keep a kosher kitchen, we offer kosher food. Um, but it's not daily. And so it's really hard in that respect. So our students are by and large from the reform conservative background. But um, I think the thing that continuously surprises me about our Hillel and our Jewish students is that they are incredibly diverse. And I mean that culturally, ethnically, racially, um, and certainly observance wise. Perfect. So you kind of already answered this and are there kosher food options available to students? That's one of our next questions. So just real quick, and I'll, I'll combine it with the next question, which is, are there weekly Shabbat dinners or gathering opportunities? And is there kosher food available at those? Yes and yes. Um, I mean, like every single Hillel professional in my, you know, peer, uh, yes, there's food. There is food, there's food, and it is, for us, it is kosher. Um, if we're, especially if we're serving it for any kind of religious observance, Shabbat, things like that, it will be kosher. Wonderful. Um, so are there weekly, like, so for the gatherings, is it every every Friday or a couple of Fridays a month? Um, and what are other opportunities that you would have on a weekly basis available for students? Uh, are you dining wise or programmatically? programmatically. Okay, so programmatically Shabbat is mostly every week. Um, right now or historically, there hasn't been any kind of Saturday option, though I do believe that that will be changing. Our student leadership are the drivers of our programs. Our student, our programs are 100% for students by students. If there's a staff driven program, there's a student committee driving it. Um, so, you know, there's been, and it, you know, I should note that I only have been in this position for a year. So the institutional history is from what I'm, I've been told from, you know, two uh, other students, peers, community members, but there's been years where there's been three to four programs a week. There's been years where there's been one program a week. And again, it's really responsive. We are people first, not program first. So we're not interested in really populating the calendar. We're interested in we're being responsive to the student need. Perfect. So shifting it a little bit for the academic side of things. Um, does the university offer Jewish studies majors and minors or are there he and or are there Hebrew language courses that students are able to take if they're interested? So there is a, there's a very long complicated history with that at Miami University. Um, there was a, a Hebrew language course. There is no longer a Hebrew language course. Um, there was a Judaic studies major taught by, if my understanding and memory is serving me correctly, taught by um, Christian professor. There is now a Judaic studies minor, but honestly, it's rolled up into a global religious, global religions department and taught by a Jewish professor, Hillel Gray. But really there's like, it's like two um, classes on a checkoff list for having a religion minor. Okay. Um, so talking about reshifting it again to the political or social justice climate on campus, how has the university dealt with any issues around anti-Semitism, BDS, 
anti-Zionism, anti-Israel, or just anything that might, you know, kind of fall within those realms. Has the university had any issues? And if so, what, um, and if so, how has the university handled that? So most of my knowledge in this is really, again, from what I've heard from students in the past, and those experiences really differ. I've had students who say they don't, the university and administration doesn't do enough. I've had students say, um, I feel very uh, acknowledged and supported by the administration. So it really runs the spectrum of that. Well, I will say, you know, if ever there was a pod positive of being in a conservative, predominantly white and Christian community, it's now. Um, we, I mean, I don't want to put a Kanahara on it, but we don't have the BDS movement. There hasn't been any um, faculty, uh, you know, writing statements about boycotting any Israel academia. You know, I will say <laughs> time will tell. Um, at the same time, during the increase of anti-Semitism on campuses, the administration has been noticeably silent, making no statements, celebrating no Jewish History Month. So it's kind of, they seem to be in a don't ask, don't tell kind of space of like, well, just let it be. And then when it happens, it happens, um, which is really disappointing, but also it's so much more of a just gentle space right now than I know some of my colleagues are going through. Okay. So um, what challenges, if any, might a Jewish student face on your campus in, uh, particularly? Um, especially just coming in maybe from a different part of the country or, or anywhere really? Um, you know, I think every student will have a challenge and it's so specific to that student. Again, I've had students who's, who, who he, by and large, you will always hear this from Jewish students. Well, I met someone today who told me that I was the first Jew they ever met, you know? Um, and a lot, I would say like 90% of the time that goes well, 10% of the time it doesn't go well. Um, but again, we are here as a support network for that. Otherwise, I think it's just a matter of um, the exact same of going out in the world. We are a minority population on this campus. Um, and it's really removed from any major city. The closest cities are 45 minutes away, and that's either Dayton or Cincinnati. Um, but our students make it work because the university the academics and the leadership opportunities are really incredible. And honestly, 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 it, there's a focus on undergraduate work because it's not a graduate population. There is not a real strong graduate um, school for really a lot of uh, specialties. So the university is able to really, really put focus on undergraduate students, their experience and their academics. Nice. So um, what's the most popular or well-attended program that you, that the Hillel puts on each year in a normal year <laughs> or this year? My first year and only year so far has been the COVID year. Um, my understanding is that the most popular um, program every year is the Welcome Back Barbecue attended by, I mean, administration, partner organizations, staff, students, you name it, they arrive, we feed them. So I, I have to start buying ribs now uh, <laughs> to feed all these people. Uh, but, but that's apparently hundreds of people. It's a great kickoff. Okay. So what is one interesting piece of information about um, Miami of Ohio that you would like for people to know? I think that I'm constantly being um, confronted with my own biases in that the student, the Jewish students at Miami and again, middle of nowhere, Oxford, Ohio are so much more diverse than I expected. Uh, coming from Asian backgrounds, black Jewish backgrounds. Um, I mean, again, you name it ethnically, racially, um, religious observance, con uh, converts, like just they're here and they're involved and they're shaping our programs. And I just genuinely think that it is a wonderful little just hub of growth and learning. And you went through a Jewish lens and, you know, we have built a community center. It doesn't matter what your religious observance is, what your experiences have been academically as a Jew, educationally, this, 
space is really here for students to grow and they're doing it. And it's very impressive. It's very impressive. Nice. And my final question is always, what do you love most about leading the Jewish community just in the last year since you've been there? What do I love most? I mean, I love working with the student leaders. Um, they are driven. I mean, a Miami student is really driven. That is kind of one of the hallmarks of a Miami student. They're interested and genuinely want to grow professionally, personally, leadership wise. So they're invested in the outcome, which I don't remember being invested in as I was a college student. And I just love the conversations I've had, again, that I don't think I could have had when I was a college student. Um, they're just at the next level. So that's been, that's when I, if I get frustrated um, having to deal with like, I don't know, you know, fundraising or the back end things operationally that can sometimes be a, a bummer to an executive director position, I make a coffee date with a student and everything's right in the world. Wonderful. Well, those are the 10 questions and in 10 minutes, this was wonderful. Thank you so much for participating and we will allow people who are viewing the video to be able to reach out to um, the Hillel at Miami University of Ohio and get in touch if they have any more questions. But thank, thank you. So much. Yay.